darn. Okay, that was not my goal, but the good news is that it's raining outside, so the fire should... <laughs> Should we go ahead and put out? But that is not going to help us with the fact that we were trying to get ready to invite over a bunch of the very important people in town. Oh no! And now Fern is like all alarmed by it, and Toby is alarmed, and Stinky, and Jean is just like, well, that was the thing. But alright guys, hello and welcome! Welcome back to The Sims 4, The Green Family Legacy, where we were just getting ready for a very important day when we were actually going to have Fern, who is now like rushing over to the other side and clearly very upset, so let's have Jean like come over and maybe console her really quickly because apparently she is, uh, here, let's kiss her in the rain and let her know she's okay. Oh, now Patchy's up? Like, what are you people doing? Starting a fire? I'm a scarecrow! That could be a death, like, warrant. Oh my gosh. And then let's go ahead and let's have a deep conversation. Now we're feeling extremely confident from putting out that fire. Too bad. Oh, geez. Now we're feeling very flirty from putting out that fire. And Patchy's probably like, ugh. Ugh, humans. Uh, but now that uh, Fern is like doing well, I mean, if we had, had kept that confident, that would have really helped for tomorrow when we're trying to send him to his audition, but we'll worry about that later. Fern, there you go. Um, she's feeling super inspired, actually. Take a dog on a walk, paint on an easel, also offer rose, which we can't do just yet. Uh, however, oh, slow dance. Oh, and now Jean's like, maybe I should take a cold shower to kind of calm things down a little bit. Oh, and now they're going ahead and slow dancing. Okay, that's pretty adorable. That is pretty adorable. However, that is not what we were after today, friends, because we are still trying to prepare the security perimeter for our chickens so that we do not have to worry about them ending up uh, hurt by the foxes who come by. So before Fern can go ahead and work on her romantic rose escapades with Jean, I was gonna have her go ahead and install the Fox Be Gone alarm. However, we keep running into the problem, and why on earth is this lily flower dead? It should be fine. Ah, uh, I'm so confused about why our plants are just like freaking out over quality lately, guys. We'll work more on that later. Um, but our, our chickens need to be safe, and in order to go ahead and to upgrade, to get a Fox Be Gone Alarm, we need three livestock upgrade parts, and to get those, we need to complete errands from all the people in town. Now, it's very annoying to run around and try to find all of the people in town so that we can go ahead and get these errands done, so then Fern had a Eureka moment! As in her little career, oh geez, now she's feeling flirty too, and they both want cold showers. That's kind of hilarious. <laughs> but uh, she had a eureka moment when it comes to how to get all of the, the influential people in town together so that she could actually start completing these errands. And that is by starting a new town council. So she actually has this new Hinford on Bagley council where we have added in the mayor, the creature keeper, the grocery store owner, the, the grocery deliverer, who's also the mayor's son, and we have the barkeep. And we didn't get the Crumple Bottom sisters in here just yet because we don't have enough room for them. That's probably going to cause a lot of gossip, but I figured that Agnes would probably be one of the last people that we added in. And Agatha, she just didn't show up in time. Like, I just remembered everybody else before poor Ag Agatha because it turns out Fern doesn't know Agatha, which surprised me. But anyway, uh, I was going to have them work on that, but I might take a quick pivot. All right, look, Toby is desperately... Oh, look at how sad he is. Okay, you guys. As much as I want to go ahead and spend some time, um, let's go ahead and brush Toby. Like, I wanted to spend time with these two being able to flirt a little bit, but I think we're going to go ahead and give him some attention because he's clearly not feeling his best. And then I'm going to let this guy go take a cold shower real quick. Oh my. Okay, now he wants to hug someone. He doesn't care so much about the cold shower. And he's he's very happy. Oh no, it's this guy again! Garth, get out of here! Get out of here, Garth! Alright, let's shoo Garth the fox away. And then we're gonna try to pull together the town council. Even though clearly both of these two, their mind is elsewhere. What I was trying to do over here... And I guess I can go ahead. Does this need like cleaned up or something? Oh my goodness. 
But what I was trying to do over here was have Fern use her fabrication skills on some soy wax so that we could go ahead and we could try to get some more money so that we can set up a really cute little like tea and crumpet area outside here so that we can have the town council come and like meet over here and have everybody get together. Uh, and I, I mean, we can fabricate our own chairs, but I just thought it would be fun to see like what we got from the soy wax. So we ended up with the retail therapy for dyes, which is actually a Ravashin special mod that makes it so you can buy dyes just from looking at, like clicking on this. So I'm gonna put this down over here actually. Yeah, back in the corner so that we can just say that Fern has the uh, recipes we could say to go ahead and make the dyes pretty cheaply. That's kind of a cool thing. I love that custom content will show up in the transformed stuff. We also have UFO Jam, which is a jam from another fantastic custom content creator called Icy Mun Mun, who I adore. And I've always wanted to have this UFO jam and then Toby tried to eat it. So we had to stop Toby from eating the jam, but I want to be able to eat that on some toast because I have had dreams of using that for like ever. Oh, these are Rava's garden tender. Let's see. And takes care of your garden plots beyond, uh, based on the controller settings. You know what? I might go ahead. And I'm just really curious about why on earth our lilies keep dying. So we're going to put that down and just see what happens. Because uh, I think some of them are glitched out and I want to fix that. But Fern also went ahead and randomized these harmonious oils and ointments. Uh, the glass snail, which I actually thought about leaving because I'm pretty sure that snail is based off of the snail that's way over, uh, like the lucky snail you're supposed to see in town. So I thought that was actually like a perfect thing. Oh, it's really cute! I thought that was a perfect thing to add to her garden somehow to kind of show that she's got the Hinford on Bagley spirit, right? Because look, she's got the snail and the snail is really important in Hinford on Bagley lore. So let's slip this snail into the garden a little bit, even though selling it could give us a bit of money for the chairs. Then we've got some tea cans, which is kind of adorable because we are gonna need to make lots and lots of tea for all of the people who are coming so we can keep that. And then what kind of made me laugh is she randomized the doctor play set for children. Fern, do you have your mind on something perhaps? But all right, if I sell the two things, I'm going to let myself sell. Um, and then the tea cans are just too adorable. But I guess they're kind of big, huh? And we already have so much other tea stuff. All right, I'll sell that too and just say that it's going towards the tea. Uh, but if we put that away, and then I think I need a bigger table. So we might sell that table and say that Fern and Jean make a bigger one. Because the town council, like that's a lot of people. <laughs> So let me see what kind of cute table would match their cottage so that we can have this little tea event. Oh geez, that's, oh, this one's so cute. Oh my gosh, from the cottage garden. Cottage garden mod pack was years and years ahead of its time, my friends. Years and years. All right, let's see. Do I like any of these? I think it just might be a little bit, okay, it's just a little bit, not quite what I'm looking for. However, do we have anything literally from? Okay, that would do it, but for an outdoor outdoor table, that one's kind of big. Oh, geez, like what mod pack was that from? Oh, it was a gift. That's what that little symbol looks like. Okay, well, I mean, that'd be good for if we had a bazillion and a half people here. Um, oh, I forgot we have the big, big circles. Of course. We should put in one of the big, big circles instead. Oh, let's, let's see. I'm going to look over the options. Shadow of the moon table. All right, is there a nice one in this color? Oh, come on. That's really cute. And it fits the cottage theme pretty well, I think. Just have to kind of pick, like, how to... Should I just go with the all white one? I think I'm just going to go with the all white one there. And then can I recolor this guy? Not really. <sighs> Do I wanna, I'm gonna sell that rustic table. The reason being, the village pub table. <laughs> oh my goodness, okay, that's adorable. Um, however, the reason being I want somewhere to make some tea. 
And I think I can only make tea on counters. Wall-mounted counter. Oh, bless Rava and all of her amazing mods she makes. Um, but I think we'll be okay if I have like an outdoor counter that kind of looks like this. Because this looks like something you would expect to find in your garden as well. Especially if we do the right color. There we go. Make this really cute. We might want to reconsider having a trash plant, but it's Gene's precious trash plant. He loves it. So, like, I might reconsider having a trash plant as one of our decorations. And it's so surreal to, like, actually spend Gene and Fern's money now. <laughs> to, like, go ahead and be like, yeah, yeah, like, you two are living here now. It's okay to start investing in stuff. Because for so long, Fern had to focus on saving everything so that she could make up for that loss of money to her parents. Uh, but now she can kind of settle in, you know what I mean? And this is, this is a fun idea. This, I want to start yanking a bunch of different types of dining chairs. Oh, that's cute. So we have, let's see, Fern, the mayor, the mayor's son, the barkeep, the creature keeper. So that's five people in our council right now. We'll eventually have seven. Let me double check the organization. Jean is not part of it. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so there's six people all together. I forgot about Kim, the grocery store owner. So we're gonna have like a cute little, oh yeah, look at that, adorable. Cute little town council meeting on the regular that we'll host over here. I kind of want all of the chairs to be a little bit different because that would be really cute. So let me put down like one of e each. So there's three. And then I want them all to kind of keep this cute little, oh, seance chair. Four, five. Okay, we can literally just fit six people around here without too much trouble. Let's see. Do I want one more that's a little different than the others? Maybe this patio chair? Uh, let's go with this one, I think. There! Okay, so they're all just a little different. And I think I can make them match in a pinch here. All right. I don't want them all to match, like, too much, but... Let's see. Cute! I really love this! Because <laughs> then we'll just have everybody, like, show up, and we'll just start having, like, little town meetings. All right, let's change this one's color. Maybe just something less vibrant. Okay, that's cute. Maybe this one a little brighter. Oh yeah, that one looks like you just dragged it in from the bar. All right, and then, oh, that one's cute. Okay. Oh, I'm very happy with this idea because this way my thought is we can kind of like sort of, uh, I hesitate to say spam, but honestly kind of spam through all of the errands that we're supposed to do for town and just go really zip fast. Also, we spent so much money on chairs, but we're not done. This is so surreal to actually invest <laughs> in what we own now. I'm so used to being like, oh, we can't have them spend money. And now it's like, it's time to put up lights around the chicken coop, make sure everybody is safe and settled in. It's time to go ahead and like put in a light in the center. Um, oh, I totally forgot about these. Ooh, confident decor. I wonder if Gene should get that to try to like maybe meditate in front of it or something to get confident before his his uh, audition. But we'll worry about our beloved Gene tomorrow. Today, we're gonna have a cute little council meeting. I guess I could make a candle. Oh, I wonder, maybe I could go, oh, a little moment of peace tea set. Oh, that's so cute. Okay, actually, I should probably just go ahead and where are my, I guess it would be under appliances, my little tea maker. So there's the tea jockey. Okay, deep breath. Probably not going to be able to afford what I want. The magnificent tea brewer. Um, let's see. Brews all your favorite teas or coffee straight into a mug with the touch of a button. A button which would be great oh the tea tray i really want the tea tray okay we're gonna have to dip into our secret stash i'm gonna sell the strawberries we have a lot of perfect strawberries that we're just kind of hiding in there and a lot of other plants we could probably sell but i have been like holding off on doing that however now is the time all right so let's see 
Because this is the fancy tea brewer that I think would be so freaking adorable to use uh, as like a little tea set. I'm not exactly sure how it works. So we'll come over. Let's see, cocktail tray, refreshing cup of tea. And then there's toddler food spawner. There's a teapot from plastic box, but that's okay. We can go kind of fancy this time. And the electric mill from Prazen Lotus, summer drink tray, because we want to serve tea to the council. That's, that's an important aspect of this whole process. Can I do that with this? Ooh, admire new possession, serve Earl Grey, um, serve healthy green, serve hot milk with honey, serve pitch black, serve steamy ginseng. I don't think I want to serve steamy ginseng to the mayor. Thank you very much. Uh, maybe Earl Grey for like confident is good enough. So we're going to say that we love on Toby. Let's give Toby kisses too. Um, let's see. Oh, give special smoochies. Give him the special smoochies. And then Jean is going to offer to go ahead and actually give Toby a bath. And we'll take him on a walk first and then uh, go on a walk. We'll go on a short walk. And then while he is walking the dog because she's got the council meeting, we're going to go ahead and we're going to run over here. Hopefully the bird marks on the ground go away on their own. Oh, geez. And then let's go ahead. We're going to harvest the trash fruit and spray this area for bugs. And while that does that, let me see. Like here is the garden tender. I'm going to see uh, controller state, enable pest control, rid any pest, okay, to recover of its bugs. All right, let's actually try that. And then I'm going to actually move here. We're going to move this over here for just a second because I'm just super curious, like, what is going on with this bug problem I have that just infest my plants turn on. All right. Maybe that'll take care of my bugs. Help. Oh, wait, wait, wait. <gasps> the bugs are gone. All right. I think we need to start doing that because look, we have earned it by being friends with the birds and we have earned it through having really high gardening skill. So I just do not understand why we are so constantly like having really rare plants die when they shouldn't. So that's kind of cheatsy. But as long as we remain friends with the birds uh, and Patchy, and I'm going to say that that's okay. Because, yeah, look, we're friends with the flock of wild birds. They should be helping in the garden. Um, and then, let's see, enable weeding. Like, the, the bunnies are already helping out with that. So I think it's just because I have some cool modded plants that make that kind of glitched out. So I'm okay with that for now because I just want to make sure that my plants survive. Thank you very much. All right, but there we go. So we harvested the trash fruit plant. It seems to be doing so much better now, uh, which it should. It's literally just a trash fruit plant. We should be able to be fine. Uh, let's come over and let's serve Earl Grey if I can reach it. Nice! Look how cute that is! Oh my goodness, I love it! And then we can go ahead and we can just scatter some of the tea around. And then let's also serve some um, lemon honey ginger tea. Oh my word, I love this thing. And now let's start a gathering! The club members have now been notified they should be on their way. We'll have them sit together over at the new council table. Patchy! I mean, hi. I love how Fern just thinks Patchy is like Jean dressed up. And Jean's walking the dog. Oh, look who it is. All right. So the barkeep, the pub owner came over immediately to come and be part of this hangout. Uh, here is the grocery shop owner, which is awesome. Hopefully everybody will just come and have a good time sitting together here. And then the mayor and the critter keeper should be here soon. There's the mayor. Yes. Look, and now we've got like fantastic tea. And there's the critter keeper. Oh, my word. It's working. Instead of having to hunt these people down, we can just go ahead and put them like right here in a, in the council meeting. Get back over here, critter, creature keeper. Come sit together. 
<laughs> and then we can come over to the errands that we have to do and just complete things. And today, today is order of business. As everybody sits down to enjoy some tea, totally worth spending our precious, precious money on, is to talk to the creature keeper about hearing birds and rabbits. And so everybody's kind of going to get an update, even though they're going to be rolling their eyes a little bit, about the wonders of, um, oh gosh, this is so cute. But they're going to all be getting an update about the sheer wonders of the local wildlife. So, you know, different council members can have different things. And this is Fern's way of being part of the eco um, innovator group and being able to help out and being able to have people meet up. There we go. And then let's talk to him. So we're going to go ahead and have a pleasant conversation with the town council. We're going to admit to hearing the birds. Michael just cannot resist. He's so excited and ask for, wait, we don't need to ask for more mushroom mash because we already admitted to hearing the birds. Um, and then people should stay outside. Okay, I'm going to lock the door. <laughs> no trespassing. Uh, let's see, lock door for everyone. <laughs> Everyone but household members, please. Lock door for everyone but household members. Like, I, I appreciate having everyone over, but we're having a town council meeting, please. Oh dear, now they're going to get stuck. All right. I'll have to unlock this one for now. I think they're off to talk to Patchy. They're admiring our house and how clean it is. Well, that's just the way it is. My friend, I think you came to see the forest through the trees. Happy trails until our paths cross again. All right, so we completed that one. Let's give a rabbit report to the creature keeper and then see if we can get everybody to come back out here and sit outside together. All right, give rabbit report because this is all about the, the wildlife today. And then let's sit down and we're going to... There we go. <gasps> Fern has a light white llama wool now. Yes. Okay. It fills me with joy to see you bonding with the local wildlife and giving them attention while I'm busy elsewhere. Please enjoy this assortment of odds and ends I scraped together to show my appreciation. Huzzah! All right. Well, we ended up with some jam, I think, and some llama wool. What on earth is this? Well, we can put it out just to let people see. Is it? Guys. He gave us an empty bottle of mushroom jam. <laughs> oh, you know what? I'm going to have Fern transform that to be able to be like, oh, I see. You know what? I can make this something better than what it is. Like, you, here's here's how we reduce, reuse, and recycle in my place. Thank you very much. Um, I'm going to have her straight up transform it right now. Because what the heck, guys? All right, meanwhile, I'm going to go ahead and lock door for everybody but household members. Don't start a fire, Fern. That might alarm everybody. And it didn't transform. Okay, that's whatever. Whatever. Just put that in our pockets. Now we're stuck with an empty bottle for forever. <laughs> oh, that man. Also, what the heck is this? A lemon Easter egg. Oh, from Icy Mud Mun. All right, I have no idea how we ended up with these, like, Easter eggs. They must be in there since she was a child. But anyway, let's carry on with this town meeting. Uh, we'll try to have everybody kind of just hang out together. Um, we're going to offer help with errands. He doesn't have any errands for us, so let's talk to the mayor. All right, mayor, let's have a pleasant conversation. Everybody needs to, like, hang out together. And then let's see if we can offer to help her with errands that will assist the the fox problem because we're talking about all of the critter issues we're having here i love how we're, we're here for some tea as well which is so cute all right so a grocery store coupon a flower a cross stitch pa pattern and an uncommon flavor of milk i'm just straight up looking at like what the options are now those are not going to help us so let's move on to maybe helping out raul uh all right let's go ahead and get to know Fern's like, I really have to go to the bathroom now. Um, and then let's brighten Raul's day because we want the town council and Raul's on it to represent the younger the younger members of the, the village. He loves the outdoors. Good to know about him. He seems pretty cheerful. Like, give us freaking, give me 
Livestock upgrades! I really feel like this is a great way to sort of force everybody who could potentially give us livestock upgrades together. And it's kind of fun to see, like, I, I don't know if these influential people of Hinford on Bagley have ever tried to come together to form a community before. Alright, let's try again. Okay, oh, here we go! <gasps> An upgrade part! From the Okay, so he actually has a lot of things here. An upgrade part for an animal shed and a chance at new treat recipes and animal clothing. Okay, so live stocking up. I need to restock the grocery shelves a bit and I hear you've got a bit of an animal connection. Would you mind tracking down something for me? And it looks like a taste for adventure gives you an upgrade for an animal part too. <gasps> I need to hurry and get Gene back over here because he could totally work on that. All right. Eggs are a true delight. Gold three down in a row, scramble another three on the stove, and I'm ready to power through my day. I certainly could appreciate if you could bring me a half dozen so I could start tomorrow off on the right foot. Boy, are you in good luck, grocery store owner. Raul, boy, do I ever have some good news for you. Uh, here's the eggs. Yay! All right, now we're feeling super inspired. Why are you naked? I think we went swimming with the dog. <laughs> Oh, Jean, bless. All right, but Jean needs to get back here because if he can finish that quest with Raul, then we'll be able to go ahead and actually get a livestock upgrade part, which would be great. All right, come on. And? I appreciate the value of a full day's work. The grocery shop doesn't run itself after all. Believe me when I say how much I appreciate the effort it must have undertaken to gather all the animal byproducts to keep the, shel the stall's shelves stocked. Until our paths cross again. <gasps> yes! All right, can I just give you more eggs, Raul? Because I think we finally have one of the pieces, friends. And we might be able to, by founding this council, also somehow we got a Zuki beans, uh, but by founding this very important council, oh, we got a little sweater, that's so cute. Friendly treat, look at that livestock animal part. Yes, upgrade part, oh, makes me so happy. All right, so we definitely are making some progress here. Can we just work with Raul again? I'm absolutely going to offer to help with errands. And then meanwhile, it looks like the rest of these influential members of town who never knew that if they came together, they could make town even better are, are having a good time. All right, so we need that upgrade part from the Taste for Adventure. Jean, where are you? Time to come home, Jean, come home. Or what do we need to do to finish a taste for adventure? Literally make a cross stitch. Jean, it's super important that you come home and make a cross stitch like right now. And meanwhile, let's come over. Maybe we can help out. I'm not going to let Fern go to the restroom until she finishes like the meeting. But we're going to offer to help with errands. Maybe if we help the grocery store owner, she'll have what we need. I think the mayor is impressed by like our up and coming willingness to go above and beyond. Sarah is cheerful. Hmm. So that would be a new drink recipe. We don't need that. Let's talk to the grocery store owner. Hey, Toby. Okay, we can't help the grocery store owner with errands, it seems. So I think we're relying on Jean. All right, Jean! Do you just need to start a cross stitch? He needs to make a cross stitch. We're so close, you guys. All right, I think I think this may be it for now, though. Fern's bladder is literally about to burst. It's late at night. Um, I think we're ready to go ahead and call this the end of the first town council meeting. It went really well, in my humble opinion. Um, let's see. Okay, offer to help with errands. That he's done for tomorrow. Raul, we already completed things for. The mayor, we already completed things for. I guess we could check with the mayor one more time just to see if there's anything we want to grab real fast. But then otherwise, Gene had a great time with the dog. And, like, I'm going to have him start cleaning up the house a little bit because he cares about the home. Let's see. Hmm. And you know what? No, we're not going to we're not going to delve into the town gossip just yet. Well, I mean, maybe that's gossip. OK, we'll take it. Because maybe it's gossip amongst the people. There's a sim out there right now gifting delicious pies when we least expect it. We'll be minding our own business and suddenly, bam, there's a pie. It's disconcerting and delicious. I need you to ferret out who it might be. Ask around, though be aware. Confessing to this sort of thing is some, isn't just something someone does. While I trust our villagers not to lie to your face, you may need to get into their good graces before they come clean. 
<laughs> okay, so we'll have to figure out about the whole pie thing. Bryn's like, right, pie. Okay, got it. You know, you can always just ask Jean to make you another one, but all right. But all right, guys, there we go. Let's go ahead and finish this little gathering. They gained a few points. Not a lot, but a few points. Um, And I kind of love the idea that Fern's going to take all of these empty glasses. And can I put them just straight up on the ground? Okay, I'm going to put them over here first. Whoops. Oh, boy. All right, this is escalating a little quickly. Okay, that's really escalating quickly, actually. Can I put these on the ground? Interesting. Okay, I'm gonna actually see if Fern can, like, transform a couple of these real quick. I'm a little curious. I just wanted to see what she can do with the leftover tea. <gasps> we made a cute little plan! Oh my gosh. Fern, I love the idea that what we transform just represents like some of the ideas that we came up during town council. I'm living for this. So cute. It's all little plants. See, Fern has that special like nigh magical touch in my opinion, where she's able to go ahead and make these things happen because of her special fabrication skills. Also flying seagulls. <laughs> so somehow she attracted seagulls. Oh my gosh, you attracted this is this is a special summoner that will attract seagulls to your place. Alright, alright, flying seagulls off. Let's see, what else did we get? So she's legitimately mostly transforming these into just very small, subtle custom content. Alright, what even is that? Can I even touch that? Alright, basically we talked about plants and I think seagulls with the, the whole group. Oh my gosh, it literally just turned all of that tea into flying seagulls. No comment and a debug item. All right, that was not as successful as I thought it would be. But we did get a really, really cute plant pot, um, which is kind of precious and adorable. And I'm going to put it, like, over here. Thank you very much. Is it floating? It's floating, so we'll lower it down one. I don't mind if it's just a little bit in there oh so cute and a tiny little plant oh i love it we'll put it on her desk <laughs> oh what a wonderful little little variety of chaos that we have once again run into but all right guys thank you so much this idea actually is working out so much better than i think fern expected because now we will actually be able to go ahead and we will be able to have town council meetings where we can very, very, very quickly work our way through those interesting challenges. And I think Jean's gonna be a little bit confused, but Fern just requested like, so Jean, could you go ahead and like make a cross stitch pattern? I hear that you're, you're really good at it. I hear a rumor that if you get that done, then I'll be able to get the last piece I need. So let's do a medium hoop with rainbows because that sounds like something he would do why not <laughs> and he'd be like okay he absolutely would do whatever it took to like help out anything she needs all right and there we go guys so thank you guys so much for joining me today if you could do please leave a like for the adorable chaos that is gene and fern learning how to really build their adult life together and if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures do please consider subscribing but most importantly my friends stay curious and i'll see you guys next time Bye bye